What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NBA High Five video with your boy. We got a juicy 11 game slate today on tap. I am super, extremely excited after a ridiculously boring ass two game slate yesterday. We still cashed with Cade Cunningham getting like 15 and with uh, Sadiq Bay getting like 12. And we still cash. That's how bad the slate was yesterday. Uh, excited about this 11 gamer though, man. Excited to get right back into it. Uh, as you guys know, 100% match up to $100 for first time depositors on prize picks using code green light. And the prize pick of the day is Joel Embiid over 27.5 points against Orlando today. Joel Embiid has crossed 28 points in 10 of his last 11 games. He has been extremely hot. Now he gets to go against Orlando squad with banged up bigs right now. Mark it up. Joel Embiid over 27.5. Like I said, 10 of the last game. 10 of his last 11 games, he's gotten over 28. So mark that up to him hitting it again against Orlando today. So excited about that one. I will be doing another giveaway for like my prize. I'm going to put together like a five pick uh, prize picks today, right? I'm going to post it on my Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL. I'm going to put together a nice little juicy prize picks. And if it hits, I'm going to give away $100 to one of my retweeters over on Twitter. So I'll be announcing that uh, retweet giveaway sometime today so make sure you follow me at cam underscore atl on twitter because once i post it retweet it's all you got to do and if all these picks hit i'll be giving away a hundred dollars to one of you all right make sure you go create your account at prize picks if you haven't already extremely fun site very fun to do that over there i've been having a lot of fun studying that as well throughout the day so excited to get to that now let's go ahead and get to this greenlightdfs.com ladies and gentlemen the greenlight optimizer is uploaded with my projections i've been working on them for hours already this morning and i am extremely excited about this slate and i've got a good grasp on how i want to attack it let's start off first and foremost we're going with a spend up because i believe that you're going to have enough value on this slate today to be able to spend up for a stud. I'm going to go Jokic, obviously, as the number one guy here. He's my highest projected guy on the board, um, and pretty much all I need is raw points when it comes to my spend up, as the way that I've been looking at this slate so far today. All right, Jokic is expensive, but he's going against a Clipper squad that is so bad versus bigs, man. They've been bad versus bigs for a while now. You know what I mean? So I'm excited about this here for Jokic. He's got crazy high upside. We already know that. Now, as of right now, we've got solid value, and I'm going to mention some of them in the high five. Um, if you want to balance off, I completely understand. If you decide to drop down from Jokic, that's completely fine with me. Like I said, I'm putting Jokic in the high five because he's got the most upside of any player on the slate, in my opinion. And so far through my studies of today, I'm feeling like you'll be able to pay up for your highest projected total guy. Whoever you think is going to be that main guy... I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to just go ahead and get them today uh, with the value we have. But we'll have to see how the slate goes as the day goes on. Things might change. But as of right now, Jokic's my spend-up guy of the slate. Now, let's sort point per salary. Y'all know how I like to do it, man. Getting value right is clutch in DFS. It is so important to get the value right because a lot of times, these guys like Jokic, LeBron, uh, KD, Harden, these guys are going to hit value most times. Most times, these guys are going to put up. All right, They're not going to bust often. You know what I mean? So it, most of the time, those guys are going to hit. So if you can get your value right, or you can get that value guy that goes crazy, that puts you in takedown territory. So it's very important to me every day when I'm working on my projections to make sure, first and foremost, that the most important thing in my mind is to make sure that the value guys are correct. So first and foremost, I really like Des, uh, DeAnthony Melton today. Desmond Bain is out of this game. Uh, I really like Melton here at 3-7. Uh, it's a fantastic spot for him. He's going to get a bump in minutes. I have him projected almost 27. He's one of the value guys on this slate that I'm really liking today. With Bain out, he's going to get a good little bump in usage in minutes. I'm really liking DeAnthony Melton here coming off of the bench against Milwaukee. Much better matchup as well facing the bench guys. All right, so I really like DeAnthony Melton at 3-7. Next up, Joe Ingles. Joe Ingles is a guy that always jumps into the starting lineup when Donovan Mitchell is out, and Mitchell, in fact, is out today. So Joe Ingles should jump into the starting lineup as of right now I have him projected as if he's in the starting lineup if he does not end up in the starting lineup his projection will drop for me but as long as he's in the starting lineup he's an amazing value at 3-7 no Donovan Mitchell starting great matchup against Houston I mean Utah's where the value's at today Utah's where the picks are at period today um Houston is 
bad. They are a team that you want to stack hard against. And without Donovan Mitchell, maybe somehow this game stays somewhat competitive. So I really like some Utah guys today, especially the value guy of jo uh, Joe Ingles. As you can see, Jordan Clarkson's popping super hard for me as well. DeAndre Hunter's right here. I'm going to go Hunter right here because I want a piece in this game. Atlanta, Minnesota is one of the highest totals of the slate, if not the highest. I can't remember if it was the highest or one of the highest at least. It's an extremely high total, close spread. Love De DeAndre Hunter here. He's been getting his minutes upticked. He's getting back to full load. Really like DeAndre Hunter here against Minnesota. Fantastic matchup. Good minutes. 4-2. Close matchup. High total. You can't ask for anything better. All right. Last but not least, with my boy out. Now, this is a tough one. It's either going to come down to Mike Conley or Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert, I have just having a massive game today. I love Mike Conley as well. Mike Conley pops really well for me at 6K, but I'm going to lean Gobert just solely on the fact that I have Gobert projected at nearly 50. With him being at nearly 50, he's almost a lock for me so far. Like, if you optimize the green light optimizer, majority of lineups are going to have Gobert today because he's 8-5 and projected almost 50, and for good reason. Facing Houston, a fantastic matchup here. Gobert should eat. White side is out. Even like Gobert is going to be asked to do a lot here with Donovan Mitchell out. Fantastic matchup. Absolutely love Rudy Gobert. And that's it, y'all. Plain and simple, straight to the point. De'Anthony Melton with no Desmond Bain. Joe Ingles, no Donovan Mitchell. DeAndre Hunter with Atlanta missing guys. Trading off Cam Reddish. Starting. Highest total of the slate. At least one of the highest in a great matchup. Jokic as my spend up just because I have the money to spend up for my highest projected guy today. And that is Jokic against the Clippers. And then Rudy Gobert in a fantastic spot here against Houston. Like I said, Utah is the team that I like stacking the most as of right now in the day. Uh, it, right now today as you could see when it comes to my value on the entire slate Ingles Clarkson two guys that are popping major for me and then right down here Rudy Gobert and Mike Conley those are the four guys that I want the most on Utah all right Jordan Clarkson has the potential to literally drop over 40 today the matchup is so good that Jordan Clarkson has ridiculous upside so I would like to find a way to get him in he's not going to be starting but I would like to find a way to get him in. And if Utah somehow still blows the doors off Houston, Clarkson's going to get a ton of run. I really like Clarkson. So these guys really pop for me. Like I said, it came down in the high five. It comes down to Gobert or Conley for me. Either one of those guys, I mean, both would be ideal. I have Conley projected over 33. Amazing projection. Gobert almost 50. I had to put Gobert in because, like I said, he's my lock of the day when it comes to my projections today in, in optimal lines. Gobert's popping in nearly every single one of them. All right. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, greenlightdfs.com. Join the squad for this big, juicy 11 game slate. And, like I said, I'll be doing a prize picks giveaway over on Twitter at cam underscore ATL. I'm going to work on my prize picks. Going to put a nice, educated, beautiful five pack picks over there. For prize picks. I'm going to post it on Twitter and one retweeter on that if it hits we'll get 100 dollars so let's get it excited to give some money away excited to smash this 11 game slate i love these big juicy slates like this man mm. <laughs> green light dfs.com join the squad peace